The World Health Organization is predicting that depression will um, have one of the highest burdens of care in society in the next kind of 10, 20 years for sub-threshold kind of panic, anxiety, depressive symptoms that don't meet criteria for maybe higher intervention or more serious intervention. Despite having really effective treatments out there, for some people, not enough people are getting well. I went into the field of clinical psychology, treating many people with anxiety and, and depression, and just became more and more interested in how I could become more useful um, to people who needed to see me, and part of that, I believed, was finding more effective, safe, easily accessible treatment options. And that's how I found myself in this lab, looking at micronutrients for anxiety and depression. We are conducting the types of clinical trials that are very hard to argue with. If you show that the nutrients are better than a placebo, then you are very clearly demonstrating that nutrition is relevant to the brain and to the alleviation of mental health symptoms. So a randomised controlled trial is um, the gold standard way of testing whether or not something works. Actually what we know is that most people coming into an, a randomised control trial will improve because they like being part of the trial, it's good. But we want and hope that our micronutrient group improves significantly more than our placebo group does. We've designed this trial so that unless they really need to and they really want to, they don't have to meet with me face to face. They can complete all of their screening over the phone and then all of their questionnaires on the website that I've developed for the trial. And the feedback from people has been really positive about that. They like that, but they don't have to kind of come into the university. Um, if you're not feeling well, then it's, it's easier to, to be able to just do things online. Um, our study's a little different uh, to the other studies that have run in the lab and we're working completely through our general practitioners in Canterbury, so we only accept referrals from GPs. And that is getting the GPs engaged, involved, know about the research, recognise its importance and where, where it fits into their practice, and then referring to people to us. Uh, we have 10 participants at the moment who are going into the um, randomised phase which means they're taking a product. Um, it might be placebo, it might be the micronutrients. I think the biggest misconception is that we're anti-medication, psychiatric medication, and this I am absolutely not. Um, I've seen medication work incredibly well for some of my clients. Of course, medications can save lives, but it shouldn't be our frontline form of treatment if less risky options can be tried first. Potentially one day, this could be one of the first things that you try at your GPs if you're feeling depressed, if you're feeling anxious, that your GP might be able to say, hey, here's a supplement that actually we know does have an impact for you and can help. That we can increase the knowledge of our society in terms of embracing the relevance and importance of nutrition as one of the ways forward for our addressing the mental health crisis, then I'm excited about that.